Hello, my friends. I'm glad you're here. We have a new drugstore collection to chat about today. It's from Wet n Wild and it's the Maryland collection. Yes, I got this big PR box. I'm going to be uh, taking you through all the different parts of the collection and I feel kind of disappointed. Just throwing that out there. I mean, I feel like a lot of the stuff in this collection is very basic. It does have Marilyn's picture on it, but you're just going to be paying more for Wet n Wild. Just throwing that out there. When we talked about Wet n Wild's little cute holiday collection, the Holiday Foxtrot, that was a limited edition collection, and they boxed it up, and they maybe charged you an extra dollar or so for what you were getting compared to the price of their regular line products. And I thought, oh, that's really nice to see. You know, this didn't get upcharged huge, but I did mention in that video whenever um, a collection is tied to like a certain program or a certain celebrity, the cost is higher. And unless the product is really exceptional, I feel like I'm not going to be prone to being super impressed by it. This is just my opinion. Maybe you're a huge Marilyn fan and you're like, all in all, a drugstore price product with her face on it. That's what you want. That's awesome. I'm feeling like maybe I should give some of this stuff to my mom because she had some trick-or-treaters, some high school age trick-or-treaters this year who came to her door and said, you look like Marilyn Monroe. And I see that and I think that's awesome. But let me tell you the old school celebrity that mom actually looks just like. It's Jane Mansfield, okay? Have you ever seen her? I'm gonna screenshot this so I remember to pop it up on the screen. That eye there, like that could be my mom's eye. If somebody showed me that picture and I didn't know you were showing me a celebrity, I'd say that's my mom in some kind of glam dress up, you know? Anyways, I like Marilyn. The Marilyn stuff's cool. Part of my issue might just be that something I love Wet n Wild for is the fact that they keep their prices at that drugstore level we know and love instead of quite creeping up like all the other brands. And with some of these products, you know, you're going to be paying like close to 10 bucks to get anything from this collection. Now, some things are in a duo. Well, We'll talk about it, but I'm just throwing that take out there. Right now, I've got a lot of my face done, actually. I'm wearing my Photo Focus Foundation in Soft Beige. This is the matte version. I'm wearing Wet n Wild's Incognito Concealer. I set that with Wet n Wild Photo Focus Loose Powder. I have on Wet n Wild Wet Shady Beaches Bronzer. So yeah, we're all Wet n Wild all over the face right now with some iconic, great face products if you like that kind of full coverage matte look. And then I went ahead and did my brows. I used my Revlon Color Stay Micro, and then I set it with my clear gel because this is being sold like alongside Wet n Wild Big Papa Mascara for $9.99. I already had this on hand so I just used the one I had. Also they do have a cute um, velvet makeup headband as part of this collection. I tried to wear it but it kept wanting to like slip off the back of my head so I just thought well, I'll just show it maybe I'll give it to one of my kids. Also there is something called Luminous Setting Powder that's part of this collection. Translucent it says. Um, packaging is cute. It's got like the little flowers. It's got the Marilyn Monroe signature, but I cannot for the life of me peel off the sticker here. I tried using the little peel here tab and it just came right off. I tried using tweezers to sort of pull up part of this and I would pull up little patches, but the sticker was separating. The adhesive still wouldn't come off actually. So like I can't get it uncovered. I really wanted to try that, but I, I just can't. One thing I can tell you is that side by side with the Photo Focus translucent powder, this looks a little bit deeper. Okay, just throwing that out there. This may not be an under eye setting powder for everyone. And then we've got a blush, and do they sell that? I think they sell it with a little powder puff. Not that you would apply blush with a powder puff, but I mean, my kittens will love this to play with. But for $9.99, it's a wet and wild blush, and it does show Marilyn on there. And is Hard Candy still selling their Marilyn stuff? Like, they seem to have kind of a permanent uh, Marilyn Monroe aspect to their line. This is in the shade Rose, and it does have kind of a shimmery finish. So I don't know. Maybe I might being too critical because they're charging like $9.99 for stuff, but a lot of the products are bundled. Maybe that helps you save a little, but if the bundle is only like a little powder puff or a brush you don't really need or something like that, like I don't know that that's really gaining you a lot. But here's that pretty blush. I do like it. It doesn't show a ton of sheen on my cheek, like from the distance you're at, but if I look really close, I can see a micro fine sparkle. The thing is, I don't think Marilyn probably had a sparkly blush on, right? I don't know. I think this is more celebrating Marilyn, less necessarily emulating her, maybe in some ways, but not others. Like, Besame's collection. Anybody remember that? I should link to that below. They did an entire Maryland collection, and it was about 
having her look 100% with all the techniques and even more old school makeup that was probably like what she used. This is maybe more about celebrating her. I can really see the glow on that cheek. Okay, so this is just coming from the blush. Everything else on my face was matte, so be advised, it's a shimmery blush. It's not just satin finish, it's shimmer. And if you try to build it up because you want more rosy color, you're gonna get more shimmer to come with it. That's that, that's $9.99 and they're gonna give you a little powder puff with it. Hang on a second, I think this real fluffy one, this is the one that comes with the loose powder and I think it's these smaller puffs. I didn't even take them out that are coming with the blush and also the highlighters. It makes a super cute PR package. You have two different highlighters to choose from. Both definitely show up and glow on my skin. I've worn them both. We have Peachy Pink and we have Cool Champagne. Let me show you the Peachy Pink. Like, it's really brightening. Even though it looks like a little deeper than the other shade, you put it on and you blend it out. It definitely catches the light, okay? I think I've worn more of that one, so I'm going to do this one today. This is Cool Champagne. Just pick up a little bit of that. It, it really pops, but it's popping because of a micro-fine sparkle that's in it. It's not one of those that you put on and you're like, oh, it's undetectable. How did I get that glow? No, this is one you're going to really want to buff into the skin to try to disperse that a little more so you don't just look like you've got a ton of makeup on. Sorry guys, I feel like this is just kind of a, not a super positive review on this stuff, but I just don't feel super positive about it. That's the thing, on this channel, it's not going to be a campaign. This is not a brand deal. This was a PR package I received and I will tell you exactly what I think about it. Okay, I think we're ready to move on to the eyes now, but that's our cheek and it's extremely, extremely glowy. Okay, you're not going to be able to escape that kind of glow with these products. The blush is glowy. Of course, both highlighters are glowy. I think there's even some glow in the translucent powder. They call it luminous, but like I said, I couldn't get into it. I was about ready to pry the plastic um, sifter off, but then I thought, you're gonna make a mess, you're gonna make a mess, it's not worth it. Okay, I'm gonna do a little eye primer, okay? Milani eyeshadow primer. And then we have a little um, eye palette. It's like a five pan, but it does have Marilyn's face on it. And it comes with a little brush that could be somewhat multitasking, I suppose. But let me just tell you, if you got a lot of makeup, you probably got a brush kind of similar to this. $9.99, these are normally $3 and change, I wanna say, at Walmart for a five pan from Wet n Wild. So you're gonna pay $9.99 for Marilyn's picture and a little brush. There's what that looks like. Is this a good everyday set for a lot of people? I think definitely yes. See, I like Wet n Wild's eyeshadow quality. I see this and I think, Yes, it looks good, right? It looks like a great basic. We've got three basic mattes and then we've got a couple of shimmers here with that pearly white and then this rose gold in there as well. But let me just show you a couple things. If you've already got walking on eggshells, honey, like I said, unless Marilyn's face on there means a lot to you, they're pretty darn similar, okay? This is walking on eggshells. This is the new one. This shade has a little shimmer, but I've used that in the crease a lot, that little bronzy color, but the color scheme is so, so much the same. And then I also thought of the e.l.f. I love you a latte little quad here, which also contains basically the same matte basics. So if you see this and think, I'm not wearing those shimmers anyway, this one has just the mattes. Okay, so we are gonna get after it. We're gonna do a look here. I'm gonna go to this middle shade. This is matte and we will just get our crease going here. We're gonna go for just some classic, classic glam. We'll try to achieve that old Hollywood vibe. There we go. I feel like the quality in here is classic Wet n Wild. It's just like, do you really need this if you already have walking on eggshells? Or frankly, if I took the time, I could probably dig out quite a few other basic drugstore palettes in my collection that contain this stuff. Oh, and the little brush that comes with it. It looks like this. Okay, so it's kind of like, it's semi-flat. It's got a little thickness. I'll use it. I'll go into this dark shade here. It can pat on. Patting it on the outside, feeling a little out of control because it's thicker than I want to use. When I was experimenting with the Real Technique set recently, at least while the brush was a little thicker, it still was fairly small that I was using on the outer part of my lid. And I felt pretty in control of it. I'm feeling borderline just a little out of control for like 
trying to get the shadow exactly where I want it to be. Why can't Brands just release a flat brush? But we're going to get that lift on the outside with this nice dark brown. Just judging this product as is, it's good, okay? I'm just very like, I know a lot about Wet n Wild. I've tried a ton of Wet n Wild, and it's hard for me not to separate from what I know about the existing brand. I'm using my small pointed brush so I can get in there a little bit more with this. Just a nice cool brown, you know? Nothing wrong with that. Then you can take your little crease brush, smooth and soften a bit. Maybe you wanna take some of this. I don't know if I called this matte before, but it has a little satin finish in this shade right here. And you can kinda of take it above and blur your edges. It's gonna give you a little bit of soft color. This rose gold applied well last time with my normal flat brush, but I'm going to see how it does with the one that was given. Okay, that's nice. It is laying down well. Again, I don't think Marilyn was wearing this much sparkle, but they put some glitz in this collection. Again, I think it's more just about celebrating her than necessarily 100% accurately emulating the look. I need to get back into my Besame stuff. I just haven't used those lipsticks in a while. So we just patted on that rose gold, which is rather brightening. I'm sorry if I was going out of focus. I glanced up and I saw I was completely out of focus, making sure that's even. Um, and then we have this super light frost right here, which maybe I can this brush is a little big to do what I'm trying to do here. I'm just trying to pop it in the inner corner. No fallout. I like Wet n Wild's formula a lot. I'm glad they didn't seem to change it up for what's in this collection. Eyeliner wise, we've got a couple different things here. They have a duo of retractable pencils. One is brown and one is white. I'm not going to do any light white waterline right now because I had been dealing with a lot of irritation on this eye and I just don't want to risk starting that back up. It's finally like back to normal. Um, so those are sold as a duo for $9.99 and then alone for $9.99 is a dual liquid liner. One end is a felt tip and maybe slightly thicker, and these are both black, and one end is a little bit finer brush tip. That worked well for me. I did enjoy that, and I think that's what I'm gonna use right now. I'm gonna start with my felt tip and go all across the upper lash line. I mean, it's new, it's juicy. This is like, what, maybe my third time playing with it, so no issues going across my shadow here. And then it seems to be the same formula, just the different applicator there with that little bitty brush tip. Gives you a little more control on the wing. I don't know that it's completely necessary. You could have done the wing with the other side, but it's fine. Just in a practical sense, this is a good product, I feel. It works well. It's not exactly like something Wet n Wild already makes. Just a little off there. By the way, these liners, they don't have Marilyn's face on there, but they do have some flowers and the signature. Okay, there's those wings. It was really easy, very black. I didn't have any staying power problems when I wore this last time, so that was good for me. And then I might take a little bit of my brown pencil, and we could use that a little bit just connecting to the bottom here if you wanted to. I'm just putting a little bit on there because she doesn't have a real encircled dark eye. But I can do a little bit of that and then maybe take my darkest brown and just smudge a little. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, looking good for that eye. And then, my loves, they're selling a Big Papa mascara, which I like this mascara. Um, I've had it before, I've run out of it. I've probably repurchased it twice. It's the first mascara from Wet n Wild in the history of Wet n Wild that has really like agreed with me. I like it. They're selling that with a clear brow gel for $9.99. So if you really only care about this, then just buy it on its own. There's nothing about this that has Marilyn on it. Same with the brow gel. So I'm just gonna curl and load up with some of this. It's a traditional bristle brush and it's got kind of an hourglass shape. I like it. Like I've never had a Wet n Wild mascara that I've liked like this. See that brush? It's got the little bit of pinched in nature at the center of it. A little bit more tapered on the ends. She does well, and she's even better the longer you have it. But unless you also need a clear brow gel, there's really no sense getting it in this collection. I don't know, it might be boxed up in a cute way, perhaps. Let's see about that. Yeah, it is in a cute box. 
I tell you what, I've been so tired going to bed at night. We have a big full moon that I've noticed here, and these last couple nights, like, I've been so tired it hasn't affected me, but I think it's affected Bub, because he just cannot be still. Sleeps for a little while in the bed, gets up, goes out to the couch. This morning I got up, he was already down in the basement, like, <laughs> Sorry, I haven't come in for a lot of close-ups, but it builds well. There's kind of a lot that comes out on the brush, so you may not want to like build back-to-back -back coats, like go over to the other eye, give this one a little break, and then add some, just so it doesn't get too overwhelmed and overloaded. Okay, there's a couple coats on each eye. It's a good mascara. It's not probably ranking among my faves in the drugstore right now, which would be the Surreal Lash, CoverGirl Exhibition and Stretch and Strengthen. I've even really been liking this Lash Sensational Luscious. It's not quite where those are at for me, but it's good. And then I'm putting a little Cali Ray Come Hell or High Water down here on these lower lashes. Okay, and then we're gonna get to lips. We have two different lip sets. One is gonna be your gloss and liner. Again, these are products that have Marilyn's signature on them and the little flowers. Let me pull that in so you can see. Upside down, but you see what I'm talking about. They're cute. Okay, and then the lipsticks look like this. They do have Marilyn on the front there. They call it an Icon Lipstick and Balm Set. Both of these sets are $9.99, and the balm, it looks like champagne. It smells like rose, pure rose scent. It's got that little bit of sparkliness in there, but when you turn, put it on the lips, yes, it feels like lip balm, but it kind of tints, stains your lips pink a little. I'll show you that. Yeah, they say it'll transform into your skin's most flattering pink. Do you see that developing now? It's cute. I like it. It's something different from Wet n Wild that they put into this collection. So yeah, I think that's kind of cool. And so if you just wanted to have a soft pink lip, you could have it with that balm. And if you like anything rose scented, completely 100% identifiable, very pure, very accurate rose scent. Okay, so I'm going to wipe that off a little bit here and I'm going to show you the lipstick. So the lipstick is looking like a classic red. It does not seem to have any rose scent that I can tell unless I'm picking up on the last thing that was on my lips. So we're just going to apply this and check it out. It's a cream. Cream formula, kind of a cool red. Like I can just sense that there's a little bit of pinkiness in here and it's not so opaque. Like there's a small element of sheerness. It's going like 85 to 90% on the opacity here because I feel like, I don't know if you see it, just a swipe of it on my hand. Do you see how it's not necessarily like junk with color across the lips. The way those Bobbi Brown matte lipsticks, they just, you undeniable full color. This, you might take a couple passes through. Obviously the end result is a full looking red, but just to give you a sense of the formula, it's creamy, it's maybe a slight bit more sheer. Gosh, that might sheer out to be a pretty cream blush. Couple things on this. Number one, I don't love wearing a cream finish red on my lips just for fear of, you know, the obviousness of if that drifts out, if it becomes a little bit messy around the lip line. I definitely trust the staying power of a matte over a cream when we're getting into the more intense shades. Also, if you're wanting to be really accurate to Marilyn's color, I know her actual signature, they completely color match her signature lip shade at Besame, and that color, if you're shopping that brand, it's a color called Red Hot Red, and it's actually a warmer red is the Marilyn's signature red. Here I just feel like they found middle of the road red and put it in this collection. But her signature red is a little bit warmer. Anyways, we're going to take this off and we'll do the liner and the gloss. Again, how do you feel about wearing a full color red gloss? Because this gloss is very pigmented. I'm assuming this is their gel lip liner formula. Let's put this on. So you do get the precision. It would kind of be cool if they sold that balm alone. <laughs> I'm sensing, again, a little bit of pink in this red. But there's that liner. Easy to apply. That's a good formula. And then the gloss, I'll swatch it so you know how opaque this is. It's super full colored, okay? I mean, I feel a little bit nervous maybe about wearing this all over the lips because there's not a lot of stickiness to it either. Like, are you going to stay where you need to be? 
It makes for a gorgeous lip. I can't deny that. Just if we're talking in a practical sense, is this the red lip formula I'm wanting to wear around everywhere? No. I want something with some matte staying power. Um, the other part of this collection, guys, yeah, we're still going. There's a clarifying finishing powder, which I'm using the one I already have because there's no packaging difference on this one. It's this powder and this brush. It's an angled brush. It's really soft, although the cut on this is weird. Did they mean to have like a a step there. It looks like it's just off. I gotta open this up and see. Are they making some kind of claim on this being some special brush? It's like they went trim, 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 oop, boop. Like it, it doesn't look like it should be that way. This, yes, yes, a hundred points for that, but I don't know. Anyway, clarifying finishing powder. This is an okay powder, y'all. You just don't want to get too much of it. It can look real white and maybe they gave this to temper some of the shimmer that's going to be all over your face. See it's so soft and it's very white so just get a little bit on your brush but that'll mattify the face a bit more. I feel old Hollywood with this combination of products. I do. If you're talking just what thing do you like most out of what you used, it's probably the eye palette. Just not even thinking about anything else that Wet n Wild makes, what thing was the best in all of this? I think it was this. However, it's super close to walking on eggshells, so I'm not feeling like, woohoo! The blush is pretty, but has a lot of shimmer in it. The highlighters are also pretty, but you definitely can see the sparkle. You have to blend a lot with these, and the price is going to be $9.99 and the only other thing in with it is a little powder puff that you're probably not going to be using with any of these things. I did like the kind of color changing lipstick here because in a balm sense in that formula that's realistically something I'm probably going to want to continue to use. Oh I forgot up there with this is the liner. The double-ended liner was good. It functioned well. Um, you had those two ends. I see myself continuing to use that for sure and get a lot of use out of it going forward. I'm not saying these other liners are bad, but I'm not really hurting for a retractable brown liner and I'm not wanting to do a lot of stuff in my waterline with a white right now. This, unless you want to see that in a Marilyn box, you can save by just buying the mascara on its own. This beautiful red lip, but I tell you the first thing I'm going to do once I get off camera is I'm going to blot this, so I'm not so worried about it going outside my lips and just getting all over my coffee mug and all that jazz. The liner and the eyeshadow probably the best quality parts of the set for me. But even so, they're not ultra unique products. So thank you for your time everyone. I hope this review was helpful. The thing is I do like my finished look. Now if I get in really close to my cheeks I don't like that. <laughs> but um, I have a beautiful base and it's because of Wet n Wild products that are truly good that are part of their line all the time. The photo focus range of stuff for complexion is awesome. Them. The Incognito Concealer is really good. I just use a tidbit more of it than I would a shape tape, let's say. But yeah, I love you Wet n Wild. I love so much of what you do. I'm a huge fan. It's just with some of these special collections, I do think you have to look kind of critically at them and say, is it really worth it to just get someone's picture on something when it's real close to what they're already making at a really fantastic drugstore price? Share your take in the comments section and I will see you all again very soon. I love you. Bye.